everybody welcome back to my channel today I have a haul for you and <clears throat> it's, a, it's, it's an okay size haul um, I've got something from Target lots of things from Joann's and Hobby Lobby and one thing from Amazon <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to show you the thing that I have from Amazon first. I got a slice tool. I jumped on the bandwagon, you guys. And I am excited to try it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I keep killing, clearing my throat. I just ate ramen and I put like a bazillion pounds of Tabasco sauce on my ramen and it's kind of making my throat like, I don't know, I need to clear it. So the slice tool is basically a like little tiny ceramic exacto knife and the blade is like really small. It's supposed to be safer, it's supposed to be like stay sharp longer and everybody and their mother is using these for planning so I decided to pick one up. And it's kind of, I don't know, kind of cool looking, so there's that. Um, <clears throat> from Joann's, I got some more um, large expander discs. I need to make myself another um, post-it note book because I started, like, cleaning up and organizing my office, and... I have like an entire pile of post-it notes that are just like they're just floating around. I don't know how that happened, but no more post-it notes for me. So I need to make another one of those. <clears throat> Let's see, also from Hobby Lobby, I got um, a whole bunch of the sticker books from the new Heidi Swap uh, memory planner line. Uh, I think there's like three different collections and I got the sticker books from two out of the three and let's see these go together and then these go together. I'm not really a fan of the third one. It's like all reds and pinks and blacks. Too monochrome for me. I might end up getting it just so I can like mix it into these ones, but as of right now I'm not like if you guys want a full flip through of these, I can totally do that. But this is gonna be forever if I do a full flip through of all of these but they're really cute and I really want to get some a couple of the um, actual memory planners too and they're undated so I like buying undated things because then I don't feel bad if I don't use it right away <clears throat> so there are those let's see oh I got a couple other things from that line I got um, the storybook sets from two of the three lines, the same two that I got the um, stickers from. And these are just like blank little books and they have like a little grid down here where you can write who, what, and where and there's a little spot for the date. Kind of like a mini version of her storyline <clears throat> collection. So I got two of those. I'll probably end up getting more. <laughs> um, then I also got this sticker set, which is from the actual Storyline collection. And I have a bunch of the like older ones from her previous Storyline collection, I believe. But these ones were just really stinking cute. So I got those. And let's see, I don't think I got anything else from that. But I did get... Guys, I got four of the Mambi sticker books. Okay, I don't own any of these. These are all new to me. The reason I got so many is because Joann's, I actually got all of this yesterday, and yesterday was the last day for the, I believe, 40% off all um, paper crafting. So that included all of the planner stuff. Plus, they had a coupon for. 15 off of $75 or more, including sale items, so yeah, I got that. Uh, so this is the tiny one. This is the one that I was most excited about. My finger itches really bad. It's super weird. I don't know. 
and it's just like a bunch of small little icons and it's so adorable I'm really excited about this one so there's that one and then I got the student one I am not currently a student but there are a lot of things in here that were kind of just like I could use for anything there's also stuff in here that I can use for my son so and I kind of just wanted all these like really cute decorative icon things I feel like a lot of these could be used for people that aren't students too or parents of students or teachers or whatever it's very versatile so that one and then I got <clears throat> this one which is so both of these uh, ones that I just showed you well the tiny one is for whatever this one is size for the classic this one is size for the big happy planner because it is part of the um, memory planning line the memory keeping planner line there's a lot of stuff in here that can be used in any size planner, but all the boxes and things are sized for the big planner, but it's not a big deal. I don't I don't own a big planner, um, and I don't plan on using these in my actual planner. I have another thing in mind for them, so, but there is really, like, just a lot of, like, really cute decorative stickers in here that you can use for anything else, so I like that. It's cute. The last one I got is the budget one and I got this because I have actually started a budget planner and I'll be doing a video on that um, it'll probably go up after this one I don't know exactly when though but I really wanted to get some stickers because I am going to be using a happy planner for that so uh, going on that theme um, I also got these like page inserts for the classic size I mean they can be put in the big one too but they have I'm trying to show you without too much glare they have got four different styles they have like one that's just a um, like lined note paper one that is a is this one that has like the bullet points on the lines um, this one is a dot grid this one is a regular grid I don't want to take everything out because that's going to take forever but they're all like really cute watercolors and they all say something different <clears throat> and then I got this one which is just um, pre-punched note paper and graph paper whoa I feel like the lighting got really weird there so I got those and then I also got these ones these are meant for the mini but I'm going to be using them in my budget planner I think if there is a specific project that I'm going to be doing um, and I need to budget for that um, I think that this will be really helpful there are um, like four different styles but they all say the same thing they're just like different color schemes and stuff so I got that and then the last little pack of inserts I got are the expense trackers <clears throat> and on the front it has an expense tracker so date, amount, category or description, cash, debit, credit, um, and then it has a bill pay checklist on the back. So um, I'm thinking that I can probably um, get some use out of those. I think that that is everything that I got from Joann's. Now from Hobby Lobby... I got this little booklet. This is a Mambi booklet, but it is not with the planner stuff. It's with the like scrapbooking stickers, and it's just a bunch of like icons and stuff. Some of it is repeated from their actual like planner sticker books, but in like a smaller form. And I just thought they were really stunning and cute, so I got those. It's the Love Yourself pack. And then. I kind of, I saw all of these, um, oh, also Hobby Lobby was having a 50% off all of their Paper Studio, and um, this one was regular price, but all of the Create 365 stuff was 30% off, and then all of, no, what was it, something else, no, 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 okay, that's it, so this was regular price, but the, I didn't get any of the Happy Planner stuff at Hobby Lobby but it was 30% off actually I think it's still going on right now I don't know when I'm putting this video up so that might be not accurate 
Anyway, um, I saw these plant stickers and I don't know what it is about plant stickers but I'm obsessed with them. These ones are kind of like epoxy stickers but they're really flat epoxy stickers which I appreciate. Actually I don't think all of them are epoxy. Maybe they are. It doesn't look like all of them are epoxy stickers. It just looks like some of them are which is kind of strange. But I think those are super cute and I do want to um, try to do some gardening this spring. I am really bad with plants just because I guess in the past I've just never like prioritized it so anytime I've had a plant it's died just because I forget <laughs> I forget about it so uh, but I really want to try to actually do some gardening so thought these would be cute and these ones are like glittery which is cool. I don't know if you can tell because of the glare but those are glittery and then I got these ones which were just really cute and vintagey looking and then I got two booklets from the agenda 52 collection and these are both the budget ones they're the this one says payday this one says home planning and payday but one of them it this one is meant for their like a5 size stuff and this one is meant for their personal size stuff but I mean, you can mix and match. So it's got a whole bunch of bill dues, some like foiled credit cards, foiled bill dues. Like, it's just got so much goodness in here. And a lot of these are not necessarily, like obviously this is and the second page is, but those arrows you don't have to use for budgeting. There's like that label page doesn't have to be used for budgeting, so. There's some versatile stuff in there. And then this one I thought was super cute. I really love the color scheme. There's more bill dues. This one has rose gold. Oh, and I really, these have like decorative icons. And these are, and there's more. I thought these were really cute. And then the last thing, actually no, this is not the last one from Hobby Lobby because I got things over here. Where are those other? Okay. Alright, so the last sticker book that I have is one of these, um, I think these are American, the American Craft sticker books. The ones that they came out with, like, all their different designers made their own sticker book. Um, I don't think this one is by anybody in particular, but it is just, like, a unicorn lover's dream, like, you guys. It is all pastels. There's some clear sticker. It's like hollow foil. Ugh. There's some clear paper, some matte paper. Um, but I just couldn't not get this. And I used a 40% off coupon on it. So it ended up only being $12. Which is a good deal in my book. There's just like so much stuff. And it's all, all the foil is hollow. Love, 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 love. So gorgeous. Okay, and then I got a couple other things which I kind of stumbled upon in, I don't even remember what section it was in. Like maybe near like the, it was kind of near the scrapbooking stuff, but it was like that aisle that's got like tools and stuff in it too. I don't know. And I got these die cuts and so that, that comes with uh, six of each, three designs. Like, what, you can't get any cuter than that. It's a cactus, a llama, and a sombrero. Like, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. And then I found these, and these were right next to them with, like, the artist trading card stuff. And I thought I got... There was four different ones. I thought I got the fourth one, too, but I guess not. Um, and they come with five designs and four of each. So this one's like really summery. It's got pineapple, little flamingos. It's really cute. I think this one's probably my favorite though. The freaking balloon animals and the llamas. So cute. And then there is this one. Lady Boss. It was really cute. I like the one with the girl. And I just thought the... I don't know what I'm going to use them for. Probably like... 
I don't know, but they're cute and I just couldn't pass up on them. And these were 50% off as well because they're part of the paper studio. And then I got these um, marble vellum envelopes. And I'm kind of mad because I didn't see this before, but it was like it must have been one of the ones at the top when they sliced the box open, they sliced open the package. So they like sliced through a couple layers. And I'm really upset, but it's fine. Um, I'll just use these for something where the back is covered. But I thought these were really cool. Okay, that is everything that I got from Hobby Lobby. The last thing I have to show you is something that I got from Target, which I was actually really pleasantly, pleasantly surprised when I found this at Target because I didn't know that they sold these. This is a flow book, and this is um, a book that takes its time, an unhurried adventure in creative mindfulness. Now, I'll be honest, when I see a flow book, my brain is like, bye, 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 bye. I need to buy. So I didn't actually flip through this too much before I bought it, but um, I'm still super happy with it. It's actually a lot. It's not what I thought it was, but I'm still really happy with it. It's kind of like a wellness, mindfulness, workbook, magazine type thing. So uh, just like any other flow book, it still has a lot of like creative things in here like there's sheets of stickers and there is like artwork and like different pages and stuff like that of course there's pages but there's also a lot of these like um like courses or um like workbook type things um pr and projects and stuff like that so this one is a 30-day mindful, a mini course in mindful analysis, 30 days of writing and thinking. So you get this little booklet that can come out. It's just got little sticky things. And it's got a prompt for every single day for 30 days. And you just write in it. And it's really cool. And they have this one, which was cool. It's like a fold-out thing. But it's um, a little... Um, activity to do collaging so it comes with some little bits and pieces that you can cut out and collage with there's lots of little articles in here there's um some like seasoning recipes there's this little booklet which is the joy of one thing at a time and it's another one of those like little prompt things So, and then this has these like little note cards and there is a prompt for that too or activity I guess and it's just it's, it's super cool um, I think I might be doing like a full flip through on this over on my other channel but yeah it's really cool and I know there's a whole bunch of like flow book things that just came out because I just saw them at Barnes & Noble not that long ago and I need to get my hands on them because I'm kind of obsessed <laughs> with these things. Anyway, that concludes my haul. I feel like I got a lot but because everything was on sale I didn't really spend that much really. I don't know. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps out my channel. Um, also, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!